Once upon a time there lived a young astronaut named Stella. She had always dreamed of traveling to other planets and learning about what life might be like out in the far reaches of the universe. One night, as Stella was gazing up at the stars, she noticed something strange happening to the planets. They seemed to be moving and changing shape right before her eyes. Curious, Stella rushed to grab her spacesuit and hopped into her rocket ship. She blasted off into space, heading straight for the first planet she saw acting weird, Mercury. As she approached, Stella realized the scorching hot planet was bouncing around happily like a ball. Hello, said Mercury in a friendly voice. Isn't space just the greatest? Stella couldn't believe it, the planet could talk. She said hello back shyly. Mercury asked if she wanted to play catch, and the two began tossing Mercury back and forth. Stella was amazed at how fun the little planet was. After saying goodbye to the charming planet Mercury, Stella waved and continued her journey. Next up was Venus, who Stella could already see was acting just as strange. Venus was elegantly dancing and spinning as Stella approached. Welcome to my orbit, said Venus. Care to join me for a cosmic dance? Stella smiled and took Venus' hand, twirling around orbit as music seemed to radiate from the dazzling planet. Stella felt beautiful dancing with bright Venus and its melodic aura. Bidding farewell to the dancing Venus, Stella flew on. She spotted Mars next, noticing the red planet seemed to be playing some sort of game. As she landed her ship, Stella saw Mars look like a little athlete. Greetings, friend, shouted Mars with a high five. Let's play some intergalactic sports. Stella and Mars began racing across Mars' dusty surface, hitting space rocks, dodging craters, and laughing together. After some fun games, Stella hugged the energetic little planet goodbye. Stella's ship zoomed on, bringing her close to the largest planet in our solar system next, Jupiter. Stella couldn't believe her eyes when she saw Jupiter had a huge smiling face. Jupiter's giant eyes were full of kindness. Welcome, dear traveler, said Jupiter in a booming but gentle voice. Let me tell you some of the secrets of the universe. Stella listened closely as Jupiter spoke about the mysteries of outer space in a soothing, philosophical way. Stella felt very calm and contemplative. Waving goodbye to the introspective Jupiter, Stella continued her exciting mission. She spotted rocky Saturn up ahead, noticing it seemed to have an energetic atmosphere. As she got close, Stella saw Saturn was full of fun parties and celebrations. Yahoo! cheered Saturn. Let's have a cosmic dance party. Stella smiled as Saturn twirled its magnificent rings to fun music. The two whirled and jived together, having a blast. Stella felt like she was at the best party in the galaxy boogieing with Saturn. After leaving the festive Saturn behind, Stella's ship came upon the next planet, Uranus. Stella was surprised to see Uranus had a very eccentric personality. Uranus wore silly cosmic hats and was telling all kinds of awful jokes and puns, making Stella laugh. What a goofball, thought Stella. Uranus kept her chuckling with its wacky antics. Stella had to admit, the planet was hilarious company. Giggling from her encounter with Uranus, Stella flew farther into the depths of space. Up next was the blue planet Neptune. Stella was amazed when she saw Neptune had a kind, wise face just like a wizard. Welcome, Stella, said Neptune mysteriously. Let me reveal your future in the cosmos. Neptune waved its hands over a crystal ball, showing Stella visions of her destiny as an explorer of the universe. Stella gazed into the glowing orb, feeling inspired by the images and Neptune's wise words. Stella thanked the mystical Neptune and said farewell, her ship sailing on. The last planet she approached was small, distant Pluto. Stella called out a greeting and was surprised to see Pluto was covered in dramatic theater costumes. Thank you for coming to the Cosmic Playhouse, said Pluto. Pluto had Stella try on fun costumes then act out silly space stories together. Stella couldn't stop laughing and playing pretend with the dramatic planet. After the fun with theatrical Pluto ended, Stella waved goodbye and pointed her ship back towards Earth, feeling she had made some wonderful new planet pals. 
Stella couldn't wait to tell everyone back home about her thrilling adventure meeting the incredible living planets. She drifted off to sleep on the long flight back, dreaming excited dreams about the next time she might get to dance with Venus, tell jokes with Uranus, or hear Jupiter's wisdom again. What an amazing mission it had been.